Okay, I took apart this distributor here. So this is the Mallory. So the gear rotates on the housing. So I can hold this back here. There's no center. I can hold this in my drill chuck. You know, rotate on the bushing in here. As long as I don't clamp on this, I'll clamp on the OD of this housing here like this. I'll turn this thing around and that'll give me something to work with as a test. Because i got to find out if this thing's going to work. In the case over there, after I cut the case bigger, I want to make a sample piece. So that I can see if I'm still in the correct dimension before it's too late to fix it. So I don't want to go all the way out to the full size and find out I'm screwed. So for now, try this. all of a sudden. There must be some chips in there. Alright. I'm testing my lathe to see if it's centered now too. This straight section here to rot do. Let's see if it rotates on me. Yeah nothing is tight. Chuck in here. Make sure you don't clamp on the dowel pin. Okay, it's in the free spot there. What the hell? Got an ass. I keep doing that. Ah, you fucking bastard. Okay, you stay in there. Quit moving on me. Talking to me today. We're nowhere near. It's gonna hit out. It's jammed in. She's tight. Can't see shit because I'm way too close. The problem is a stupid ass drill chuck keeps falling out of the taper for some reason. I haven't got a clue why. Yeah, we got at least a full turn of clearance. Screwing on me is all it is. Loosen that one up. Just where it belongs. Make sure you're not on the dowel pin. Okay, that's tight. This that's a nut torque. Should run straight. Probably won't. Oh I didn't dumbass put that on yet. Let me do this a little bit. Oh. 
Okay. When they lock, it's going to rotate pretty good. It's pretty good to me. It's not bouncing all over the place. Okay, this has not been ground here, so I'm going to put it over on that and see if that's running true. If it is, that's a good sign. If it isn't, we got problems. This it should be square also. It's not. So this is not chucking square up on this. This is our high spot right here. So I need to put a shim right under the chuck right here to move that down. thousands at least. We've got multiple highs. Yeah, it's high here. It's also high here. Okay, so that's a high spot. Right here. Low spot. Back up. Really drops down. Comes back up again. So it's definitely high right here. Need a shim on this go. I really got the H. All right. So if this really mattered, I would try to fix that more than I am. But it doesn't really matter. I don't like it as much as it wasn't there, but not a big thing. I'm gonna try rechucking it up. Squeeze in a different spot. See if it gets any better. So just loosen this up. Rotate it around a little bit. About the same for it though. I think that's built in. I spot right where there's nothing at it. Deeper to get on the cover. Much better. So this here was inside of the chuck. See that one's across the chuck jar there? This one was not, it was in between. So I put that back on there. So now it's a lot better. Yep, I don't see it bouncing either. Okay. Let's try that big button. Also, let's see what that does. Yeah, this thing's moving all over the place. Well, you get a lot of video issues. 
Yeah, junk cam, junk tripod. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, same thing with true. So one pound, more than one pound, right? About half a pound. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this right here, and that way I can, I won't have to cut this hole so much. I'm thinking this is 20 thou off out of alignment. It's too far, too close. So I'm gonna cut. I don't want to cut this hole out anymore. I have to. So if I turn that shaft down a little bit, I can make a little thin bushing and not have to make it full size. So it gives me like kind of a test run to see what I want. If I don't like what it is, I can make a, a small change and make another bushing. We're not using this distributor, so it doesn't matter. This distributor is junk because it's been turned down. You can put a bushing over it and make it back to standard size if you want to. That's a stupid Mallory distributor, who cares? Okay, that's going to be a little bit of a clearance issue. I'm going to overlook the purpose of that way. That's too much. This also give me a chance to figure out if this thing's cut straight or not also. Let's go down here and see what we got on this side. High speed. Eight thousandths would have cut. So it's an eight thousand smaller here than down here. Each man had a measure. <coughs> okay, we're about two and a half, three there. We're three down there. It's bigger down here, but not by that much in there. It's four. So that means we're not going to cut way more on this side than this side. <clears throat> so that's not good. That's not good at all. So we got this problem or is it the whole head? <clears throat> that's bad. Difference. Get that all centered up. Shouldn't have been a change. <clears throat> hmm. uh, first thing I do is check to see if it's what the indicator shows on the top. Okay, get out of the way. Twenty. <clears throat> okay, that cut a lot. Okay, so all I'm going to say is uh, we're going to do a test cut. Okay, so that's good. It, this is not very round, not straight, see? It's 20. There's 24. There's 15 thou difference there. 10. There. Okay, so my touch-off point was right here. My indicator was. 
So that's a 24. And this little line right here is the other one I touched off at. And about 18, so. So that's six of the eight off. So we're going to cut this thing around and see what it actually cuts. <clears throat> Be it being wall screwed up is good. That means it's not my lathe. It's how I would ground this down or how they cut it. Wasn't very accurate. We know we're within one thou, so it's not me. So then. Okay, let's see what we get. See what we got for a dimension. Hopefully, it's straight. So it looks like it's uh, 20. It's hard to read that. And we're going up. That's not good. 24. Nope, we have an error. Nope, bad error. We're about two. It's cutting way too much over here. Okay, so we're at 20. Actually, we're a little bit under 20 now. Where's the line? Lines right here. So it's almost 18. I gotta open this up as I go. That's five thou right there to get to there. Still going. So that's about eight thou. So that fourth I was measuring, it's still in there. Okay, so it used to be a cut too much here, not enough here, now it's the other way around. So, that means I'm, tomorrow I'm going to come back and play with his head a little bit. And I'm going to try to get this squared up. Do a bunch of little slight cuts and try to get this thing where I can cut a straight line here without having to fudge it. Yeah, disappointing. But, oh, it is what it is. So then once I get this turned down, then I can get on with that one. Because i got to be able to make a bushing there, and if this lathe's not cutting accurately, I can't do it. So we got to get this lathe to work. All right. One step forward, three steps back, it looks like. But I think we're in the right direction. I think the lathe itself is pretty square. I think it's just the... It's just I, I cocked that head, and now it's, I overdid it. I gotta bring it back a little bit and I should be able to dial it in. So it's gonna take some fine tuning. Alright, that's it for now. <laughs>